Hi, this is Elvin. Welcome back to Watch Jelly. So today we'll be talking about a, about a topic that is due for a refresh in 2022. And the topic here at hand is, should we still rely on the AD to get hard to get sports models that we like? For, for example, Rolex. Should you still, as a new customer who has never really gotten watches in the past, should you still rely on them uh, to walk in buy a couple pieces and to start queuing on the waiting list. Should you still do that in 2022? So just to share, um, I've just moved to a different city and I have no purchase history with them. I have no relatives. So I'm starting out afresh as a new buyer. So my story is pretty simple. I walked in, I bought a watch for a friend, a tutor, and I bought another watch as well. So after that, I leaned into the sales representative almost like a secret between two men, if it's possible for me to be allocated hard to get watches like the Rolex GMT, whether the Batman or the Pepsi, or even you know, something not as crazy, but still in demand like the Yachtmaster, the Explorer. And he hesitated for a second before leaning in to tell me, I think it's an open secret at this point. So it bears mentioning. So in Hong Kong, because of lockdowns here, if you want to actually purchase certain watches, it would be slightly easier now than it would have been two and a half, three years ago before COVID. So the issue is, these guys have, have, have told me, it is possible to get these hard to get models, but you have to wait. I mean, waiting is, is not new. Uh, you have to wait everywhere. But the thing that he mentioned here is that in order for me to purchase a Rolex, for example, the GMT Master, I would need to buy that watch and to pair it with other watches as well. So what is the monetary value of the other watches that I should buy to pair with the GMT Master that I intend to get? As of this moment, uh, while recording this video, a Pepsi GMT Master is right about that 35 to 37,000 USD range. And the GMT Master itself, at retail price, is closer to about 11,000, 12,000 USD. This AD basically whispered to me that in order for me to buy a GMT Master, which costs about 11,000 US dollars, and buy watches from other brands, not from Rolex, to make up for the difference, which is about 22,000 US dollars worth of watches in other brands, in order for me to leave the AD with the GMT Master. So you realize the issue here. So essentially this AD, is potentially offering me the chance to buy a GMT Master by buying the GMT Master and add, racking up additional purchases on top of the GMT Master in other brands that when I add the values of these watches together, it will equal the grey market price for a GMT Master Pepsi. <sighs> which is painful, uh, which is painful. It's a... Uh, as in, I knew this was happening, but I think having a salesperson say this to me directly is a bit of a punch in the gut. Um, I suppose what this means is that you are better off buying a GMT Master in the grey market, to be honest, if you want it immediately. I think it's, it's an open secret at this point, but of course, um, if you want to have the experience of buying it from the AD, then I guess you could go for this route with the AD, racking up enough spend. Or the only way where this works in your favour is if you want to buy several watches at a go. And it so happens that one of them is a hot Rolex sports model. So just to give you an example, if let's say you have been eyeing a Cartier Santos all this time, uh, and you don't mind buying that Cartier Santos, and maybe another watch, plus the GMT Master, to make up for the difference in price, then I guess this is a viable route then. Uh, or in other words, you'll be required to bundle it up, you know. I don't want to be too judgmental of the situation, but I think it just goes to show that this is how the market works these days, when something that you want is trading at such a high premium in the grey market relative to the retail price. So. All I can say is, if you really want the watch, you want the whole AD experience, and it so happens that you want other watches at the same time, 
or you have relatives and friends who also want to buy watches with you along with your Rolex GMT Master and other sports models, this is, a, this is certainly a viable route that you can take. And um, as much as it pains me to say, if this is truly the case, I've yet to transact, so I, I can't say for certain until it happened to me, I think you're better off going to a grey market really. Um, you can get it immediately if you want, assuming you're okay to pay, if you're okay to pay the grey market price right there and then, whatever the price is, which is insane. Or you can play the waiting game. Uh, this is the case for Hong Kong, uh, a, a pretty big chain in Hong Kong. I won't say which chain because I, I can't say, but in Singapore, it's similar in a way. You have to rack up enough spend over time before you get to be allocated a watch that you really like. Um, and that's and you have to wait several years, most likely. So um, if that's the case, uh, it's really a tough call. As much as I would like to tell you, go to the AD, wait, buy enough watches so that you get the watch that you want. But if there's only one or two watches that you want, maybe you're better off going to the grey market. I, I'm, I'm not judging. I've gone to the grey market before, more than once, more than twice. So it is what it is. And I've also bought from the ADs as well. So it's your call. So do whatever you need to do. Uh, I'm sure that everyone here is intelligent enough to weigh the pros and cons of doing so. So I leave it up to you. And that's all from me today. I hope this helped you understand where um, the Rolex market is with regards to the AD and the grey market. If you want to buy a watch from the AD in 2022, I don't think it's likely to change anytime soon with demand going crazy, hyperbolic, prices also going hyperbolic. It's just the way that it is. So if you don't want to go through this entire game, I suppose, there are many other brands out there, many other amazing watches for you to, to look at and buy. I hope you enjoyed the content today. Uh, this is a refresh on a, on a topic that, has, that is on everybody's minds since probably three or four years ago. So I hope this refresh is timely given that uh, Watch and Wonders is coming right up. So take care guys. Please remember to like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and don't forget to keep watching Jelly.